all the buttons. I pressed all the buttons. Excellent. So, hello, hello there, and welcome back to Chris Eye of the Storm Taylor uh, playing Star Trek Online The Continuing Adventures of Turok. Cade Millefulcher, welcome. Um, so, quick recap. You know, last time on Star Trek Online, uh, after receiving a gift from the mysterious Zed, Z, however you want to pronounce it, uh, Turnock used the dilithium and items to look for more colonists who are escaping Tal Shiar aggression and made some friends with the Remans, but after rescuing people in the colony, they were kidnapped by a mysterious ship. So we've just finished that mission. We're back into sector space and yeah, we're gonna, gonna continue on with the voyages and also looking for Torvan Kev's sister, Rina. Um, again, I'll try and get a couple of missions done. Um, and the reason why I, you know, I could have easily, so, you know, really very much skipped through and, you know, done a quick run. Yeah. Let's just do the missions. Let's just blow things up. But I love the story. I really do love the story. And so I want to give people an opportunity to, to see it, a bit of an experience and also you know, a little bit of a selfishness side of things here. I'm, I'm an experienced actor. I've done bits of uh, voiceover, voice acting work. And to be honest, in those parts, which there are actually few, where there is no voice acting uh, in the game, you know, for example, my own character, um, I will be voicing those as, and I'll be interacting with the game in character so um certain things are happening and stuff is going on uh but i'm building a story okay uh so hello viewers the git is the mysterious ship friendship friendship is not mysterious the git friendship is friendship uh, so hello, hello Git, hello watchers, uh, thank you for tuning in. So um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the last few days have been a bit rough, so I'm going to talk a bit less <laughs> just for tonight, because, um, you know, I'm human, and yeah, um, I'm trying to take it easy, easy on myself at the moment. Um, so less about me, more gaming, uh, as Minsk says in, in Baldur's Gate, less talk, more fight. So here we go. Start up Star Trek online. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. <sighs> Kick ass. Thank you, Git. Thank you very much. Here we go. Let's get this game going. I'm going to have to figure out at some point how to do some sort of game overlay for the chat. At the moment, I'm like, well, what's going on? What are people saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't that interesting? No, no. So here we go. Uh, it's the legacy of the RRW Vison. Vison? Vison? Uh, I'm not sure what my Romulan is, isn't up to scratch. Uh, so let's engage. Okay, so we are in orbit around Crateris, which is formerly a Riemann colony that has just been attacked by the, the Alachi and the Tal Shiar. So we're going to hail Tamir for orders and see what Republic Command has in store for us. Greetings. 
I have new orders for you. Thank you very much, Tamir. There is a space station in the Gasco system that we think would be a fine addition to our group. If they agree to join us, we will have an additional base for our militia ships, as well as a supply depot that could make a big difference when we begin construction of a colony. I know there is a group of refugees there. Some of them have been there for years, but they've also had a wave of new residents, including a new commander. I'd like you to go to Gasco and feel out the situation. If you think they'd be a good match for us, you are authorized to extend them an offer. So, travel to the Gasco system in the Beta Quadrant and visit Gasco Station, for which we'll receive stuff. Thank you very much, Commander Tamir. Greetings. I have new... So, set... Uh, Torvan, set course for the Gasco system. So, what did we get? We got a new engineer, Beryl. And she comes with this lovely ability, Emergency Power to Shields. Uh, 303.8 shield regeneration for each setting, plus 20, oops, sorry. Plus 25 power, shield power setting for 30 seconds. Prepares disabled shields, 18% shield resistance. Nice, 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 nice. We'll put that there. Uh, we'll leave that one there. That's battery capacitor that drains my singularity power. And I'm going to be very honest, if I'm going to drain the Singularity power, I would rather drain it for the Plasma Shockwave. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is 386.5 Plasma damage and 77.3 Plasma damage every second for 15 seconds with 100% shield penetration. And because of the um, Singularity Core that we got from our mysterious benefactor, there's 20% chance to disable a subsystem for five seconds. So, yeah, that that, that definitely keeping hold of. Uh, this is the Singularity Stabilizer. It's when you use Singularity Power, it drains the Singularity, and, you know, there's a countdown to get it back up again, but this immediately brings it back up online and gain two Singularity Power every second, 15 seconds. Which is cool. I'm happy with that. Wendy HT, hello, hello, live long and prosper to you too. Thank you for tuning in. Nice to see you again. So here we go. We are approaching, uh, approaching the Gasco system. We're currently in the Gasco sector, and yeah, space station is coming up. Right, as we travel through the galaxy at warp 5.56. So, a quick check on the skills. Yes, I did do that. So, shield capacity, hull capacity, restoration, hull restoration. Okay, you need to choose something there later. There we go, four light years to the Gasco system. course. Oh, gonna have to manually just fly around that star. There we go. In the late 22nd century, the region around Gasco was hotly contested by the Klingon Empire and the Romulan Star Empire. The Romulans built a space station here to solidify their claim and maintained a small fleet at their site for, for the next half century. After the Klingons allied with the Federation, the region's strategic importance waned and the Romulans abandoned the station. It was repopulated by a small group of refugees after the destruction of Romulus in 2387. Begin Gasco Blues. We've entered the Gasco system. According to our intelligence data, the Empire built this station in the late 23rd century but abandoned it later when the region was no longer strategically important. Word is some refugees are living in the station now. You know the drill, right? Go to the station, preach the good news, get them on our side. Easy. Yes, of course. Oh, take us in.
a scan, see if there's anything around. Nope, no anomalies in the area. Nice and peaceful. Getting docking codes now. They've opened a channel. Put them through. All right, W. Visor, you are cleared for docking. Thank you, comms officer. Docking now. Well, yeah, House Divided features uh, Robert O'Reilly as a car, J.G. Hertzler as Martok, and Rika Sharma as a Adet Pa. So, quality, quality um, voice talent there. Welcome to Gasco Station. Our commander has assigned Tobol to escort you while you're here. Please speak to him when you're ready to leave the transport room. Understood. Thank you. Sorry, give me a second. Oh, uh, sorry, had an itch in my nose. I know you really wanted to know that. Speak to Tobol. Good to have you here. We heard about you from the people who lived at the old Sulaban Helix. The station commander has requested that I escort you to his office. Are you ready to go? Actually, I'd like to talk to some callers first. I don't see anything wrong with that. But you should know, however, that the colonists here are happy with the way things are. You'll have a hard time trying to convince them of your cause. But you're welcome to try. Is there a woman named Rina Kev on the station? Uh, Rina Kev? Hmm. No, well, there's no one by that name on this station. Thank you. I'll talk to the colonists now. Done fighting. I just want to live a regular life. That is gorgeous, by the way. Go to the top. So speak with the colonists, speak with the lead scientist, speak with the chief medical officer. Fight the Tel Shiar? No thanks. I like to keep my head attached to my shoulders. You can't fight the Tal Shiar. That's crazy talk. Yard to attack here like they did in Crateras. You're with the Tan? Look, I don't want any trouble. I can't talk to you. Are you crazy? The Tal Shiar would wipe us out in an instant if we fought them. Wow. So, yeah, Tal Shiar is feared. have a hands full here. Why fight the Tal Shiar? Just stay out of their way and you'll be fine. <sighs> yeah. The Tan? I've heard about him on the news. If you ask me, he sounds like trouble. Do whatever you want with the Tal Shiar. Just leave us out of it. Okay, yeah. Well, they seem to have made their minds very clear on that. Oh, 
we don't want any trouble. Please, just leave us be. <sighs> Something's not right here. Look, I'm a doctor. I'm not interested in this well, war. The colonists here Especially aren't eager to fight the more Talcion, people in so Why would they be? You might have better luck talking with the commander of this station, though. He has more backbone than most of the people around here. We'll go through engineering. That's the quickest way to the administration area. Very well. Oh, first of all, hang on. Beryl. Yeah, you need some armor. <laughs> Just kind of, you know, making sure everyone's fine. We're all fine. So, generally people are like, nah, tell Shia, nah, leave me out of that. Hey, you have to help me. Oh, okay. Talk to those. You're going down to the administration level, right? I think my brother's being held down there. His name is Hiven. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He talked back to one of the new guards yesterday. Then he was thrown in the prison. You have to help him, please. Tobal, is this true? His brother was making insane accusations and causing trouble. He kept saying that one of the guards was with the Tal Shiar. That guard's entire family was killed by the Tal Shiar. He didn't appreciate it, and a fight broke out. Now, both the guard and this man's brother are in the brig. If you'd like, you can visit them after you're done talking to the commander. Sounds good. Let's keep moving. Commander's office is just ahead. Okay. We'll just go and have a word with the commander. See what his thoughts are. Yeah. Oh yeah, go visit the prison. so much about Tatan's fleet and their fight against the Tal Shi'ar. I know you're here to offer us a chance to help, but perhaps there's a counter-offer you'd be willing to hear. A counter-offer? So good to see you again, my friend. It's time for us to talk. Uh-oh. Surprised? You've been one step ahead of the Tal Shi'ar, but now your time has run out. Gasco Station belongs to us. Soon the Helix will be ours as well. Your little rebellion is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the station. You and your friends are going to be here for a very long time. We'll see about that, Hakeev. Don't resist. Make this easier on all of us. 
You and your crew will spend some time in our brig. But if you do as you're told, you could be released. Maybe even work with the Tal Shiar. There's no reason for there to be any more violence today. The Tal Shiar just want to help us. If you choose to defy us, I will be forced to order my men to fire. I'm going to say this, and not lightly. Give that order. I won't stop fighting. We should free any prisoners, and then get out of here. Uh oh, that's plasma. Covered in plasma. <sighs> you know, I should shoot you where you stand. Not today. like the tall she are. Hey. Tans group. I heard about you. My name is Hibben. I'm the only one left who will stand up for what's right. And look where it got me. The Tal Shiar took over the station a few days ago. I think it was right after you guys helped those people in the old Suliban Helix. A few of us resisted and got thrown in prison. I'm the only one left alive. You have to get me and my brother out of here. Don't worry. ROW Vision. We have one to beam up. We've got a problem. Someone in the station activated a magnetic shield. It's blocking all of our attempts to use the ship's transporters. We had civilians who were trying to get to the ship, but now they're stuck too. We need to get to that transporter room, shut down the shield, and save any civilians that need our help. Grab a weapon, Evan. You're with us. If we want some more firepower, we can grab some equipment the Tal Shiar were using. Let's do that. Hey! No, not Git. Kit. So I now have a photon grenade, Mark One. Hey, there it is. Photon grenade. Let's put that here. Right, anything inside? Oh, anomaly. All the cells are empty. Trionium gas. Uh oh. Looks like we got company. Yeah. I'll probably doing some help. Uh, that 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 burns. That 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 burns. Like ow. None of us will. Blue line, blue line, Centurion. Target priority one. Oh, I'm going to 
gonna come and get you too. Hi. Just a second. Like that. Everyone's gone. Great. Let's try and... Hi. Got a present for you. Second, some covering. Okie dokie. Yeah, now transport room. That's ah, uh, yeah. Captain Remus. Let me just um, introduce you to this. Get on the transporter pads. Let's get you out of here. We need to get everyone back to the ship. There are enemy vessels inbound, and the ship is trapped in a tractor beam. Rescuing these colonists won't mean a thing if our ship is blown to pieces. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, Sulaban Helix. 
That was last time. So here we go. Get some. Get around behind them. Activate that. Activate that. And let's go. There you go. Just that. Never been so happy. Snake attacks. Ah, yeah. Whoa. Ah, more birds. Derek's. Do you think you can actually win? We're gonna find out, aren't we? I think this one's gonna be a little bit tougher. Okay, low speed. Come on, come on, come on. Attack pattern alpha. Shar, what happens when they cross us? If I see that Hakiv again, I'll make sure he loses more than an eye. So say we all. I can't thank you enough for the help back there. I don't have much left now that Laius is gone. I'm good with a weapon, and I know my way around the ship. I'd be honored to stay aboard and help you fight the Tal Shar. Thank you, Heaven. Tovin. Take us to warp. Okay. Yeah, Tamir. Didn't go exactly to plan. We had to expect this eventually. The Tal Shiar are actively moving to stop us from gaining more followers. And even Hakiv is involved. The bad news is that we lost Gasco Station. The good news is that the Tal Shiar is taking our movement seriously. That means we're gaining momentum. I'm going to talk to Tatan. I think it's time to take real steps toward freedom. All that stuff. Greetings. I have new orders for you. If you train bridge officer, new skill. Bridge officer can only have one active ground, one active space ability per rank. Change ability, first select desired ability slot, then select new ability from the available list. To learn a new ability, a bridge officer must hold the appropriate rank. You must obtain a training manual for that ability. Most training manuals can be purchased from bridge officer trainers located at major facilities such as Earthspace, Upconos, or Euromulus. Some can be crafted in related research and development schools. Training a new ability will also cost expertise. Don't have much of that. Once learned, a bridge officer will permanently know that ability. Cool. Bridge officers may also train a specialization that will unlock additional abilities when, where they can learn. A bridge officer may only have one active specialization at a time. Okay. Even. Welcome aboard. New orders. Oh, and new skill. Um, I'm gonna go for shoot. Oh, hang on.
Yeah. Yeah, more damage. <sighs> Threat control. Uh, hanger weaponry, hanger pest deal, additional 10%. Threat control. Plus 100% additional threat generation while in threatening stance. Minus 100% or not. Cool. Yeah, go with that. Increased threat control. The search for New Romulus. Thanks to additional information from the colonists from Gasco and Helix, we've managed to identify several possible systems that could have planets for our colonization efforts. We'll need you to scan these systems, see if there is a suitable planet, and then explore said planet to confirm your findings. You're looking for what will be the future homeworld for the Romulans. We've also been told by Federation and Klingon officials that talks of an alliance could begin if we identify a suitable planet to colonize. Datan and I will be speaking with those officials while you're exploring. This could be the next big step in our fight for independence. Cool. Greetings. I have new orders for you. Thank you. So, what do we have? Do I have anything interesting, cool, and new? Lots of bits and pieces. Uh, do, 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 do. Got bad and that stuff. Oh, got some more hypos. So that's one each. And what's this? Disrupt a split beam rifle. Okay, hey, Tovan, what have you got? Okay, bit less damage, more shots. And 5% chance, minus 20 all damage resistance. So, yeah, um, you can have that one. Uh, Sartre. Plasma full auto rifle. Yeah, you're fine. Veril, you haven't got a special weapon. High density beam rifle, you can have a plasma shotgun. Uh, while we're here, Torvan, you can have some power cells, increase your damage. Sartre, you can have a shield charge. And some field rations. I'll take the haggis. Right. Oh, better shields. Tavan, you got two. Satra. Definitely need that. And new armor as well. Um. Oh no, you've definitely got better. Armor than that. Beryl. You've got better armor. Even. You can have that. Okay. Oh. Batteries, batteries, batteries. So that's what? Weapon battery, shield battery. Uh, do, 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 do. What I'll do is the shield battery there. So if emergency power shields isn't cutting it, I can use a battery. And weapons battery. Yeah, let's put this here. I want to be using that for coming against the battle cruiser again. So, set course for Galordan Core. Yeah, do you wanna? Should we, should we go around that star? Torba? Thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, 
I kind of don't like the idea of crashing into a big stellar object. soon enough. Galordan core system coming up. Oh, that's just showing off. How fast? Oh, there's Galordan core. Galordon Core, geologically unstable, uninhabitable planet. Galordon Core orbits a class K star with a magnitude of plus seven. The planet is beset by constant electromagnetic storms that interfere with sensors and transporters. In addition, prolonged exposure to the planet's intense magnetic fields will result in synaptic breakdown. Away teams are advised to use caution. In 2366, a Romulan scout ship crashed on the planet's surface. The Starfleet vessel USS Enterprise D was sent to investigate and recovered a single survivor from the crew. I don't have high hopes for this system. Initiating scan, now. Preliminary reports are turning up negative, Captain. We could perform a more in-depth scan, but that could take nearly a week. Launching a satellite would allow us to monitor the area and move forward. Your orders? Launch a satellite. Let's go on. Gamma Eridon system. Set course. I like this ship. Okay, deep space encounter. Uh, Lieutenant level, nah, I'm not going to go and fly off and do stuff, um, no. Um, yeah, I'm just going to log that. Klingon Rebels, yeah, let's go get involved with Klingons. No, 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 no. Hattoria Sector. Gamma Eridon system coming up. Oh, Gamma Eridon 2. Okay, let's scan this. Binary star system with twin M class stars. The Gamma Eridon system has no inhabitable planets. Deposits of topoline and dilithium have been found on Gamma Eridon 2, and Romulan miners have been dispatched to the system to investigate whether large scale mining operations are economically feasible. In 2368, a Federation fleet blockading Romulan space during the Klingon Civil War retreated to the system after the tachyon detection drill failed. Yeah, let's mm. scan. We can't get a clear reading from the planet that Tamer specified. Our best option will be to drop out of warp and investigate the area. Are you ready? Yes. Drop us into a standard orbit. Nausicaan ships, dead ahead. They were jamming our sensors. That's why we couldn't get a clear reading on this area. It's an ambush. They're hailing us. Probably to gloat. Pirates like these only care about scrapping the ship for parts and selling any survivors to the Orions. Should I open the channel? Open the channel. Romulans! Wonderful! It's been so long since I've had a chance to kill some of you green-blooded snakes! Now show some karma and fight like you mean it! You'll still die, but my crew could use the sport! Kev, red alert. Yeah. Oh, 
are so easy to fight what you can't see, eh? Let me introduce you to a little tactic I, I picked up recently. on the shields than I was expecting. Why? Right. Bring us back around. I want to finish these up. Scum off. Good. Uh oh. Yeah. Just get those shields back up. something better, it's called Surviving an Encounter Problems. Look it up. That oh, Siphon Frigate's great. Shiar, it's the Nausicans. What's next? Iconians? We were able to get a few scans of the planet during combat. It's no good. The wildlife is too hostile and the natural resources too few. That leaves us with one last system. The Dewa system. Dewa 3 shows some promise. We can leave orbit whenever you're ready. Okay, give me a second. Let me scan that magnesite. Now let's get out of here. Right. Day worth three. That was fast. Uh, give me notifications. This is Pelican. Twilight like Town. Dewa system this way. Dewa three? No, it's not Dewa three. Are you Dewa three? You're not Dewa three. There's Dewa three. <laughs> it's a misplaced a planet, you know? We have confirmation of a suitable planet. I'm patching us through to Tamer now. He want an update on the situation. I'll connect you as soon as you're ready. Open a channel. Excellent work. You should head to Dewa 3 and set up some orbital probes, and then beam down and investigate the surface. I'll set a course to the Dewa system and keep an eye out for any more Nausicans. 
Dewa 3 is one of our last chances to find a habitable planet in this region. Good luck. Understood. Kev, take us in. Go. Dewa 3. <coughs> this could be the new Romulan homeworld. The radiation levels of this planet made it uninhabitable. But long-range surveys have detected drops in the toxicity over the past few years. Our orders are to deploy sensory probes to scan the planet. And, if they return positive, beam down for a closer look. Cool. Understood. Uh, Git, is space actually the final frontier? I'd actually go with, it's the next frontier. Probe Alpha. Particle scan as well. Tachyon particles. Hydrogen gas. Now let's get this probe in place. One more probe. A real warrior oh, never right. lets his prey escape. You guys really Ow. need a really lesson. Tracked us all the way to a new system. decides to bother us. Nausicans. I hope that's the last we've seen of them. The reports from the probes confirm that radiation levels have lowered on the planet. An away team without protective gear should be safe. There don't seem to be any civilizations down there either, but we'll have to beam down to explore the area further. Are you ready to transport? There are several teams that will beam down to other parts of the planet while we explore. Well then, let's go. Wow. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Our orders from Tamer are to analyze the local wildlife, flora, and minerals, as well as any bit of radiation. Alright then, let's move. Survey fauna, flora, water and minerals, scan radiation levels.
Hello? Whoa! Not friendly. Okay. You can't pet the cat. Got it. Look at that. That's a nice planet. I'm short. Yep, yeah, what's that? Is this friendly? Okay, didn't jump on my face. Friendly. <coughs> this plant displays remarkable similarity to the plants once found on Romulus. Interesting. tainted by the planet's radiation. Okay, tell you what people, let's let's try and avoid like the local creatures in you know dangerous looking ones. Yeah? Good. And it look like they want to be tickled under the air, let's just say that, yeah? Back off. Back off. What? No. No, eating my crew. Bad sail back. What did we just say? What did we just say? are fascinating. They seem to absorb the radiation around them. That's interesting. This is Tamer. I've arrived at the outer rim of the planet. I'll be keeping a watch on any Tal Shiar or Nausicaan signals. How is the initial search going down there? <sighs> yeah, I'll go for this planet. is amazing. We can't believe what we're seeing. Truly. That is excellent news. We may just have our new home. I'll continue doing what I can from up here. Take your time down there and make sure nothing is overlooked. We can't have any doubt in declaring this our new home world. Understood. Yeah. A few creatures want to claw our face up. The high but, amount know. of lead in these rocks could be the reason for the lowered radiation levels. Hmm. Also, those creatures that absorb radiation might have something to do with it. Okay. Magic tricord? Ah, oh, no, come on. Right, don't annoy the Vivacats.
Let's just go our way. Let them go there. I'm detecting ancient and dilapidated structures nearby. Hmm, could be interesting. Let's see if they give us a way through here. Okay. We can do this. Oh, what did you do? Seriously. <sighs> Ugh. I hate it when the party fails to sneak roll. Oh, what are you? Hey, little cute furry thing. Check the ah, uh, really? Okay, gather these mature this armored seems to be pathum. resistant to the ambient radiation on this planet. It could be useful in treating radiation sickness. That would be very useful. Okay, we managed to avoid the big armored adult things. Hey, look, got those. the rock. Okay. No biggie. Over that way. Cool. Hey, radiation. We should investigate that old bridge nearby when we're done with our scans. Yeah, bridge. Nice. Signs of old culture. Okay, everyone, watch your step. What's that? Tholians. What are they doing here? Tholians? Tholians. Just what we needed. Tholians are known for not caring very much about us humanoids. I don't think they even know the difference between a Romulan and a Reman. The ship isn't detecting any more Tholian ships in orbit, but with our luck, that'll change. We should see what those Tholians are after. If this is going to be our planet, they can't take it from us. All right, let's go. Any more anomalies? One more. Okay. Right. 
they're afraid of something. Let's avoid the one sticking around. Hey, there we go. Hey, anything else? Nothing on sensors. Just gonna check out this area over here. I like this architecture. It's definitely a uh, some sort of civilization here before us. Metallic substance is what we want. The sign of the lost civilization. Trespassers, you will die before taking what in ours. What? Seriously? We just got here? You know? Maybe you want to talk about this? I'll take that as a note. seemed interested in those rocks back there. Should we check it out? Yeah, let's let's go check this out. Watch out! More Tholians inbound. Great. More on the way, sir. Why are they so interested in this site? Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. No idea. We'll find out once we have a second. Yeah, I'm with Tobin on that. One more group inbound, and it looks like they're sending one of their commanders. Lovely. Whatever is buried in those rocks, let's see what's beneath them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go have a look. That's interesting. There appears to be a sword fossilized in this accretion layer. I'm trying to scan it now. Wait, this is incredible! There's definitely a blade here, and its composition and size match those of Vulcan blades from about 1900 years ago. There were... there are only a few examples of those weapons left. Most of them were destroyed during the time of awakening. Let's open a channel to Tamir, tell him about our findings in the Tholians. Greetings. What have you found? Hmm. Interesting. The sword could prove to be something unbelievable. Maybe even something made by Saharian. I'm concerned about the Tholians, and I'm beginning a full scan for any of their ships in orbit. Who's Saharian? Saharian was the greatest Vulcan weaponsmith who ever lived. He loved war, and created marvelous swords for the greatest warriors. After talking to Surak, however, he renounced all violence and never made another blade. Three of his swords were taken by our people when they left Vulcan. Two were lost during the journey, and the third, as far as we know, it was lost with the homeworld. 
But if there's a sword from Saharian's era here, and other signs of habitation, this could be the Sword of the Raptor Star, one of the missing swords. There was an expedition out in this region looking for it a few decades ago, but as far as I know, they never found anything. Maybe we've succeeded where they failed. Do you really think this could be the Sword of the Raptor Star? Anything is possible. But it will take a very long time to confirm if this is true or not. This could simply just be an old sword from a past civilization that lived here and nothing more. Regardless, I would prefer to hold out hope that this is somehow tied to us. Perhaps it is my pride simply getting in the way. Understood. Should we contact Titan about this? Yes, we should. Hold on! We're under attack! It's the Tholians! Go to red alert. All hands, prepare for battle. Tamir, how many other? Tamir has closed the channel, sir. I'll have the geode and blade transported to the science lab on board the ship. We should return as soon as possible. Tamir will need our help. Agreed. Let's go. There we go. We managed to take out a few Tholian ships, but now we're trapped within one of their webs. There are more Tholians on the way. You've got to take out the nearby Tholians to get us out of here. Understood. We'll handle it. Time to relax, however. I'm picking up a large Tholian ship leaving warp. Get ready. The Tholians have some of the most advanced technology in the quadrant, and they never back down. We'll need to work together to survive. We're with you, Tamir. Hopefully the Tholians will stay away. What did you find? Is it possible for us to colonize the planet? Blah, blah, blah. Explain everything. By the elements. A habitable planet and one of Saharian's lost blades? That could only mean that this planet must be one of the worlds our ancestors visited after the Sundering. I knew that their path could have taken them in this area, but I never... I'll have to speak to Mimic. She's always had an interest in our history. You should get to the flotilla and speak to Datan. He'll want to know everything you've found. Return to the Roman flotilla and speak with Datan. 
take us to war. To the flotilla. Whew. Got a home world. Got a home world. Do, 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 do. Got a home world. Got a home world. Do, 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 do. To flotilla. Rum and an ale tonight. Yeah, I, I'd run. I, I'd be running. Do, 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 do. And conduct yourself. <clears throat> yeah, everything's fine. Yep, look, just walking through the ship here. Found us a home world. Everything's cool. <sighs> okay, just gotta go meet the re leader of the Republic. Do, do, do. Jolan True to time. Jolan True, you found something incredible. This will be the new home of the Romulan Republic. It will be Mole Rehan, new Romulus, and we will create a new way of life there. This is exactly what we needed to begin talks with the Klingons and the Federation at Kittimer. Unless you have any more questions, I would report to Tamer. I have many preparations to make. How does this impact the Federation and the Klingons? We will need allies to help with the colonization. It's likely that the Federation will be willing to help with this. We also cannot settle on New Romulus without the goodwill of the Klingons, given how close we are to their space. If they would be willing to lend us a small portion of their military might, we would be safer from the Tal Shiar. After that, if Empress Sela continues her attacks, she will be doing it against a new civilization, not a band of rebels. That will make all the difference. Yeah, it should. Could we confirm the identity of the sword we found? We don't know yet, but we do know it is as old as the Sundering and uses materials like those of the Vulcan Swordmasters. So that narrows it down a bit. Say so. The Sundering tore our people apart, but it also unified the Romulans under a common cause, the preservation of our emotions and our freedom. If this is truly the sword of the Raptor Star, it could help to once again unify the Romulans under the cause of preserving the freedoms we hold dear. Understood. I'll go talk to Tamir. Ah, no, I'll go talk to him in person. Good work. I knew you were the right person for this job. It will take us a long time to analyze the sword you found. We have to be very careful with something like this. But even the possibility of finding the sword of the Raptor Star has given everyone on the flotilla hope for the future. Your role isn't done yet, however. Datan and I both want you to be with us for our next task. 
meeting with the Federation, Klingons, and Empress Sela on Kittimer to talk about peace and the colonization of New Romulus. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll cut that. Greetings. I have new orders. Being held by Admiral Karak. Congratulations. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to the Republic Navy and earned the respect of your fellow officers. Return to New Romulus. I would like to formally recognize your contributions to the Republic. I'll head to New Romulus later. Thank you. Greetings. I have new orders for you. Turn We've made a breakthrough. We can't lay claim to Dewa 3 and make it our new home without allies. The planet is close to Klingon space, although they've never formally claimed it. If we could get their support, or that of the Federation, we would be able to break away from the Romulan Star Empire without worrying what the Tal Shiar will do. Datan has been working for weeks to get the Klingons and the Federation to agree to talks. Now representatives from both factions will be at Kittimer to hear our proposal, and so will the Empress. I want you there as well. I think we'll need someone like you on our side. It won't be easy, but this is our best chance to create a new life and a new home. Go to the Kitama system, which is in the Beta Quadrant, and attend a conference between the Klingons Federation and Romulans. It can only be completed as single player, following rewards, XP, allegiance, and stuff. Okay. Greetings. I have new orders for you. Right. Um, use the tip of left. <laughs> Better get some diplomatic regs on. Okay, tell you what. I will take a quick bio break there. Um, here we go, give me a sec, let's exit. Okay, I'm going to take a quick bio break, and um, because I'm not streaming tomorrow, I'm just going to have a quick word of wifey and see if she's okay with me doing another hour. If so, we can jump into the nitty gritty of the, uh, the conference at Kitama. Um, so yeah, tell you what, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, I'll put some music on and I'll put the be back right back. Remember, follow, subscribe, like, and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, and I'll be back soon. Thank you very much.
and I'm back. Uh, hello again. Thank you to my viewers. Really appreciate you tuning in. Remember, tell your friends. Tell your friends to watch. Uh, and like and subscribe and stuff. Um, just to help me keep this going. Uh, so, yes, back at Star Trek Online. Um, we're about to go to a conference, so I think we need to wear something a bit more, yeah, stuff, things. Right, let's go back to the game. So, also, I'm going to give my crew some uniforms, because, you know, uniforms are always good. Bridge officers. Tovan. That the same one I'm wearing? Hang on. <laughs> Which one am I wearing? That one. Okay. Yep, go with that one. So, Tovan. Uh, nope. Flotilla. Yep, apply to character. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, all good. Uh, yep. Yeah. I tell you what, let's give him. Let's give him a little red undershirt. There we go. So I know that he's the tactical officer. So there we go. Uh, Satra, you are the medical officer, so I'll give you that, and we'll give you, oh, I kind of like that sky blue, yeah, yeah, go for blue, and we'll give you a white uniform. There we go. Veril. Now, just for you, tell you what, where's, where's that engineer ear outfit? Ooh. What was that? Flotilla, Republic Reman. Yeah, you can have that one. Yeah, and we'll give you engineer yellow. That looks good. And even uh, modify uh, Roman Republic one. Apply. And your science as well. So I'll give you the same. Same look there. Okay. Capitan. Right. We need something that says official. Formal. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, hang on. See if we've got a different top here. Vest or work vest. Sleeveless. What do we think? Sleeve. Ah, let's give him a collar. Give him a collar. Look a bit better. Um. Shirt underneath, and white on their trousers. There you go. That's more diplomatic looking. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Ooh, shoulder pads, jewel. 
Ooh, Lieutenant Commander. Okay. There we go. White. With a smattering of red. Tactical officer. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice diplomatic look. Yeah. Definitely diplomatic. Much better. Uh, do, 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 do. Roman Republic. Uh, fabric draped. Civilian. No, let's go with the. Yeah. There we go. Do the white on the belt. So, yeah, I'm liking that. I like that. Definitely. Uh, buttons. Do we have gold? Gold buttons. Oh, right, okay. Does that change that? No. Let's change that. No, nope, that doesn't. Okay. Let's go with that. No! No! I did modify, didn't I? Hang on. Let's go create load outfit. Uh, I didn't save it. Ah, uh, well, okay. Well, this is going to be the uniform for the moment. Yeah, let's go with formal looking. Yeah. So let's save that one, just in case. Exit. Uh, promotion, since you're go to new Romulus command. Not sure if I can do that because we haven't yet built the planet. Um, acquire ships, can I do it here? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Right, so the Delan Warbird. That's my next requisition. Buy that ship. The R.O.W. Tiviraxia. Cool. So what's this one? Uh, Dale Warbird. Upgraded version of the land. Designed in the 23rd century. Sponsored by Robert Star and flies conflict with the Federation. The ship was larger than the Fliss Warbird and carried a heavier payload of weapons given an edge in potential conflicts against the Federation's Constitution class vessels. As the conflicts between the Federation and Romulan Empire diminished, the Delan remained in the prototype stage, never seeing an implementation in actual combat. Recently, unfinished models of the vessel have been modernised and put to use by the remnants of the Romulan people, who are utilising any resource they can fi find to survive. The Dale Warbird is equipped with a Romulan battle cloak device. Yeah, comes to the universe. Ooh, comes to the console. And I can afford it. I can afford the ship. Not sure I had that much lithium before, but yeah, yeah. Let me buy that ship. The R O W Gathong. Okay. Where that lithium came from? Must have been my mysterious benefactor. Okay. Uh, select ship. Manage ships. So, listen. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. That was the ship. You're upgrading to the Dale Warbird. So, ready starship. Yep, lots of things are transferred across. Uh, oh. Did we get that? Yeah, we got all the consoles. Let's take that off there. Uh, singularity inverter absorbs 
energy plus 30 oh hang on plus 30 energy damage resistance 30 percent shield resistance build one base singularity per incoming hit so combined with that yeah i like that so tell you what let's move that there put that back there keep the resistance that we've got uh, what have I got here? I've got Rapid. So I'll go Rapid again. Uh, that stays as is. What's that one? That's Rapid as well. Let's stick that one. Oh, hang on. All this stuff is rank 2. Because that's what you can have at Lieutenant, however. Um, oh, hang on. Should really change active starship. Yep, ready starship. All done. Let's have a look. Can I upgrade you? Hey! Oh, ready to upgrade. Wow. So they're now rank 4. You can see that does more damage than rank 2's which is cool so let me just take all this off now normally with an upgrade uh, what you do is you go to the upgrade item and there'd be a slot here um, and if you R&D like here for example improve cannon tech so adds 5000 technology points and you know cost some to lithium but these have come ready upgraded so happy out uh, let's upgrade that upgrade this oh nice 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 so what just happened with this was, as you can see, these are like a purpley pink. This is going to like a bluey purpley pink, um, which means it's got an extra ability. So in this case, I think it's shield heal. So yeah, plus 3.8 starship shield restoration. So now when I um, heal the shields using the abilities, it gives me more. So nice. See if we get anything else. Oh, I got another one. Got another one. More speed. I like more speed. Yeah, come on. Fing fingers crossed for the Singularity Core. Ah. Oh well. But still increases everything else. Uh, better. Yeah. More Starship shit. Uh, train experience faster warp speed so yeah nice oh nice one got an upgrade on the shields so yeah more regeneration more capacity fantastic upgrade the neutronium alloy nothing there stealth module Nothing else there. And the plasma weapon infuser. Yeah, standard. So, yeah, nice. Liking this. Let's equip these on the ship. <clears throat> now I've got two cannons at the front, which I'm very happy about. And they've each got 2.5% chance to activate rapid fire mode for all cannons so everything gets that all those so we've got three times each time they fire three times that two and a half percent chance for that right very quick customization of the ship uh interior yeah type three do we like type three I like type one. Type one's nice. Uh, hull. 
Pathos, that's going to cost. Dale or Delan. Yeah, that looks chunkier. Uh, Dale type 1 or type 2. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. That looks kind of cool. And the nacelles. Yeah, can't afford that. Current one. Ooh. Yeah, I like that more sleek thing going on there. Yeah, I'll go with that. Right. Pattern. Again, Aries. That's right. Tactical officer, uh, throw in the red and the black. Oh, hang on, I might, I might change that over. Yeah, I might change that over. So black and red, just to be different. Yeah, tactical ship. Nice, liking that. Okay. Now finally, I've just had promotion, so yep, skills, get into the next rank. Uh, drain, control, impulse, transfer, I'm going to go for targeting expertise. Like, easier to hit the enemy. And also, these all need promotions. So let's see how this works out. Oh, I've got a spare slot. So I need to get rid of fire at will too, because I don't have any beams. And I need to get another officer. So I can go back through here, do that. Sorry, just try to be quick as I can. Uh, so tell you what, I'm gonna get another have anyone so I'm gonna get another tactical officer recruit bridge officers uh, tactical Romulan bridge officer candidate tactical common yep I'll have that person uh, my name is Tavik yep I would like you to join my bridge crew uh, I'm going to bring you up to speed on the uniforms. Oh, Bidak, sorry. Bidak, your name is. Roman Flotilla 1. Uh, with a little tactical flair there. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're, you're a ship tactical officer, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Right. We need to get you onto like some basic training. Uh Bidak. Okay, Bidak. Let's promote you as well. And you come with tactical team, which is what I wanted. Uh, the other thing was train your bridge officers. I want uh, tactical, tactical cannon scatter. Right, consider I've got, already got the rapid fire. I'm going to get scatter volley. And skills. Tovan, you're going to learn scatter volley instead. And we'll just update that. There we go. My away team is going to be Tovan, Feral, Even, and Satra. So the other advantage is they've now got access to their next level of stuff. Um, and I've got an inventory of stuff I don't need, so I'm just going to sell those. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Engineering kit, don't need it because I'm not an engineer. 
personal issue, no, don't need a science kit module, or that, or that, or that, or that. Singularity A? Sell, 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 sell. Not selling that. Not selling that. Sell, 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 sell. Not selling that. Sell and sell. Critical components. Do I need anything else? Oh, I can get. Ah, sorry. Right. Just thought these have all got basic equipment. Let's take. Let's get rid of all of this. They've got a rank as well, so they can get better kit. Uh, while the stuff you get is nice, uh, it's all kind of standard issue or not quite as good as what I can get here, so let me. Field rations. Okay, so I need, uh, yeah, yeah, awaiting weapons. So plasma long range assault minigun. Yeah, I'm going to have one of those. Um, piercing. Wide beam rifle. Oh, hang on. Give me a second. I've remembered I've got some spare dilithium there. So sell that. <coughs> so I'm going to get three. Plasma, wide beam rifles at basic level, and a plasma long range assault minigun at that level. Uh, equipment, um, yeah, we've got four sets of that. Personal shields. Consumables. Yeah, let's get let's get some of these. Let's get some like big heavy duty stuff. Right. So hang on. Uh, consumables. Equipment. Shields. No. Cancel. Hmm. Oh, commodities. Is it in commodities? Buy. No. Okay. Uh, do you have stuff? No. Uh, I can't buy any upgrades. Oh, hang on. I can get some upgrades. I know where I can get some upgrades. Uh, there's the exchange. That's the bank. Mail. Is there an exchange here? Temporal defense. Don't want to mess with them. Right, okay. It's telling me to go to New Romulus. So, tell you what.
so kitten sector new Romulus system Let's go. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Okay, can't go to New Romulus Command. Okay. So, promotion. Can't do it. Um, right. So. I'm just going to go back to the flotilla for a minute. Let's see. 24,000. Respond to this. Uh, reply. Right. Okay, all right, I'll well, that wait for that. Ground points, uh, work penetration. Yeah, I'm gonna go with more criticals. Okay, now give me a second, just give me a second. I'll be right with you. Change things around a little bit. Let's check something. Uh, what am I checking out? What am I checking out? I am checking out something else. And I am checking out. Uh, hopefully. This. Break character for a second. Doo -doo. There you are, right. Oh. Four, eight, twelve. That should cover it.
This is me, this is me looking innocent. Totally innocent in this. Look, I'm trying to put a narrative storyline together. And I thought I had everything ready, but I obviously don't have everything entirely ready. Um, so just give me a sec. Uh, the prop makers have just run off uh, to go and quickly craft something. Just left in the other trailer. <laughs> Everything's fine. Ignore what is going on behind the mirror. There we go. There we go. See, everything's fine. Check the account you've been granted access to. You also find some kit modules for you to use. Uh -huh. So yeah, nothing there. So let's put let's put that in there. That, that, that. I don't need them right now. Um, and the account. Oh ooh, yeah, I'll take those. And I'll take some of these as well. Because they look nice. Totally legit. Right. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Uh, let's upgrade that. Fantastic. Lunge. Uh, this is what? Motion accelerator. Cool. Overwatch. Uh, upgrade that one. And rally cry. Nice. Okay, so may as well while I'm here, upgrade these. Upgrade this one. Uh, upgrade this one. <laughs> Those are done. Right. Okay. Now. Lunge, motion accelerator, Overwatch, Rally Cry. Those are done. Okay, so standard energy dampening armor. Let's upgrade you with the Phoenix Universal Tech Upgrade. Uh, apply. Cool. Upgrade item. Still white quality. Still white quality. 40% chance. Come on. This is worse than um, XCOM. Yes, you have a 96% chance of hitting. Right, 42% chance. Come on. Life, the universe, and everything is in that. 
Oh, 38. You can do it. Yay! Right, I got one upgrade. Two upgrades. Whew. Three. Four. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. Five. Oh, nice one. That was a crit. So that means it's going to upgrade even further later on. Upgrade, apply upgrade. Six, is that six? Okay, plasma long range assault minigun. Let's go, let's do this. Nice oh, damage, so it's definitely going to be good for my uh, tactical officer. Uh, wide beam rifle. Damage, nice. Another, oh, double upgrade. Triple upgrade. Triple. Fantastic. So that's got all the way to uh, to pinky purple. That's a nice one. Nice one, got an upgrade there. And yeah, right. Cool, that's actually really cool. I was not expecting um, all that to go so well. Hang on, did I just lose an item? Oh no, didn't claim it, there we go. <laughs> like, where's it going? Okay, so Tovan Kev, you're gonna get uh, extra physical damage protection because you're gonna get hit with stuff. Uh, capacity, phaser, phaser, regeneration, capacity, yeah. And you're gonna get a lovely, lovely long range plasma. Assault minigun along with some nice bonuses. Uh, even so, you are science, you're more combat science, so you're gonna get closer, aren't you? You can have regenerate shields. Hang on. Regenerate shields and regenerate. Nice. So you get a lot of regeneration. You can stay on your feet. Uh, lots of damage. Critical hit. Yeah, you can have that one. Oh, actually, no. No, no, no. You can have that one because you are the combat science officer. Now Sartre, you can take better resistance against that. And that one, that, that, and that. And I'd like you to be less of a target so you do better critical hits. And Veril. Take these that are left because I'm not expecting you to get in combat at all. So your ground skills are weapons malfunction and shield recharge. It's only later on she gets these funky ones. Um, so for now, yep. Dun dun dun. Okay, right. <laughs> We're done. We are done. Oh, except for me. 
Let me, let me just sort me out here. Oh, I'll keep that haggis. Oh, I like a bit of haggis. <coughs> right. Um, so. Boosting stuff I got up here. So. Overwatch. Yep. Go for that one. 21 seconds. 15 seconds. Someone goes first. 15 seconds, that one goes here. Right, healer there. Um, nice wee bit of haggis. Shields. Uh, power supply, let's go up. Let's do that, and that, and that. Because that's just the energy weapons. That's throw yourself at the enemy. However, motion accelerator. Extra bonus melee damage and a little bit faster at running around. Helps me get around this big ship a bit, a bit quicker. Like that. I do like that. So, right, yes, turning point to the kit of a conference. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. Right, set course. That was just a brief introduction to um, the whole upgrade process, and those upgrades were universal tech upgrades, which are available from the store. Um, basically, the, these Phoenix prize packs are like a, a they're basically a loot box, and you get different grades of loot box different grades of prizes but to be honest the thing that's most worthwhile out of them are those phoenix upgrades because they just you know they give you uh free upgrades no dilithium cost so you know it's four and a half thousand it works out forty thousand for a box of ten but by the time you get to level four or five upgrades it costs you a thousand a time anyway so you may as well buy a phoenix box <clears throat> and unless you get like one of the top two tier prizes you can just change them down to one two or four um of those phoenix upgrades so it kind of if you're just using them for upgrades they're the, the much better option right now Begin turning point. Kitama Tomb. An M class planet uses a neutral site multiple times for diplomatic negotiations. Kitama played a vital role in the formation of the Klingon Federation Alliance of the late 24th century. Host of the historic Kitama Conference in 2293, which started the first peace negotiations between the Federation and the Empire. By 2346, the planet was home to a Klingon colony destroyed in a sneak Roman attack known afterwards as the Kitama Massacre. Excuse me. Taken by the Roman Star Empire after the attack, it remained in Roman hands until 2382, when the Klingons took the world back by force over Federation objections. Three years later, all non-Klingons were expelled from the planet. The USS Enterprise E participated in the evacuation. Let's begin. This place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Zatan is waiting for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. All right, let's go meet Zatan.
does go smoothly after all. Yes, hasn't everything so far gone smoothly? Right, okay, get, get my jogging on. Wonder what it takes to be put in the gallery of honor. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Chamber of Conquest. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the tall Shi'ar. It's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit... tense right now. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sila's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Mm -hmm. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking, get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. What about the war between the Federation Klingons? How will they both help us? Both of them want to learn more about Romulan technology, and they're willing to do a great deal for us to acquire it. We will have to be careful not to get dragged into their war, however. We are already dealing with the Tal Shi'ar, and that is more than enough. I believe both of them see us as a potential resource. While I'm not terribly happy about that, it is a way to get them to assist us. And until we are established on a world of our own, we need their help. I understand. What can I do to help? We're still working on an agreement, but an initial proposal is on the table. The Federation and Klingons will help us establish new Romulus, as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take, one that will hopefully work. You can start by speaking with some of the delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. So, um, what do you think? I think we should do whatever we can to stop the Tal Shi'ar. If that means making an alliance with Starfleet or the Klingons, fine with me. I would be worried about us getting dragged into their war, but I expect that they're both more interested in our cloaking designs than our people. I say we go with whoever is most willing and able to help us against the Tal Shi'ar. That's all that really matters. We must be careful not to let vengeance blind us in our attempts for freedom. In the meantime, I would ask you to speak with delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. I'll do what I can. Hall of Heroes. They're probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans. I understand their stance, but still, there are issues. The would-be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? 
right. Ah, one of the town's followers. Greetings. I am Ambassador Setas, representative for the Klingon Empire. I am curious. What exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in an allegiance? The Tan is no warrior, and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. You know something? You must see our strength, Stas. I'll accept your challenge. You have bravado. I'll give you that. That doesn't mean you are strong or trustworthy. Perhaps an alliance with your group would bolster our strength against the Federation. If you don't stab us in the back, that is. We shall see. You shall. Very well. Diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just stares daggers at everyone. Half my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the Starfleet as like rampaging togs, and we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing green bloods. Oh, did I offend you? Well, get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you yet, and I don't know if we ever will. Maybe I can help you with that first. <clears throat> Sounds half drunk anyway. know that you all aren't as ill-bred as the stories say. What are your thoughts on the peace treaty, Klingon? Ah! You don't even respond to an insult. Looks like you're on your best behavior. <laughs> Since we're being diplomatic, I suppose it could be said that you people may not be entirely worthless. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink does not mean we are friends. I'm keeping an eye on you and your kind. Very well. The Klingons don't seem too thrilled with the idea of being allies. Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. Yeah, let's see what we can do. One of our new potential allies. I am Jiro Sugihara, a representative of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now, please don't take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole of the Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments. But I believe with some work, we can all come to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? 
Well, I was hoping we'd... Of course you do, of course. Why else would you and other fine and forward-thinking Romulans, such as Datan, be present here at this conference? I like to think of all of us, Federation, Klingon, and Romulans alike, as engineers. We're building bridges to a newer and brighter future. We're architects, designing load-bearing structures upon which we might build vital cooperative efforts. But before we get to the window dressing, of course, you know where we must begin. Yes, we could start. Why, with the foundations. You knew that, of course. There's nothing we cannot achieve if we're able to continue to sit down and discuss our differences. And bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. So as one potential friend to another, I ask this entirely as a personal question. How do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and discuss the issue rationally, we can... We've all come to see that reunification is a wonderful idea, isn't it? Bringing long-lost brothers back together and mending hurts from so long ago. Really, that's what the Romulans and Vulcans are, don't you think? A family divided. It's a shame. I think of my daughter. She's a lovely girl. Takes after her mother in many respects. She's on Bajor now, but I love seeing her as much as possible. I couldn't imagine how dreadful being separated from her would be. But that's what Romulans and Vulcans must feel all the time. That's why I believe reunification should happen as soon as possible. Imagine all the wounds it would heal, the pain that would go away. That would only be the start if Vulcans and Romulans could find peace. Why not peace with the Klingons, the Herogen? It would be a wake-up call to all races that peace, prosperity, and unity are all possible. Our Federation has its problems, but we've learned to live and work together. There's no reason we all can't do so. Yes, yes, I do. If you'll excuse me. Yeah. Definitely... Enthusiastic. Admiral Tenet. I know you're kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts to be disarming. If you don't trust us, then why are you here? I am here as a representative of Starfleet and an expert on Romulan affairs and to ensure my companion does not surrender all of the Federation in an effort to build foundations. I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deceptions, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. That is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I suggest you do not try. This is not a trap, Admiral. We will see. I'm gonna check out that anomaly. Tatan. Jolan True. What do you have to report? 
There's doubt everywhere. We will have to be careful not this to- This conference is a farce. Sila! You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens and colony attacks. Wild stories? Until now, I gave your little movement some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the error of your ways. This ridiculous conference shows me I've been far too forgiving. You! How could you? Tovin, that's enough. You two, please leave this to Tamara and me. Hmm. Unbelievable. How can that woman stand there and deny everything? If you ask me, the only thing worse than the tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. There should be no allegiance with such... Hold on. Getting a message from the ship. They're picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. Gatong, inform the Klingons they have uninvited guests. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of Kittimer to them. However, I'm certain that the singularity signature I'm detecting is the same ship that was in orbit of Virenot during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the Klingons' objections? Give me a moment. You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. Okay. Let's get back to the ship. Okay, yeah, it's like, yeah, I think at that point I should have just um, said, yes, I'll be back to the ship. I'm not going to go and talk to Sila to get insulted again. <laughs> yeah. The game is 10 years old. There's a few bugs here and there. Um, thankfully, not major ones, but, you know, Tovan's voice changing dramatically there. <laughs> Was a bit of a surprise, to be honest. Um... Here we go. I'm picking up multiple anomalies in the area, but the Klingons are still ignoring them. We should investigate them and be prepared for whatever happens. Keep an eye out for Klingon ships. If any hostiles appear, they'll show up too. If we're lucky, they'll target the enemy and not us. Very well, let's go. And some hexafluorine gas. Okay, let's check that out first. It's on the way, mostly. Oh, hang on. Didn't fully sort this out earlier, so yeah. Let's get the speed up. Uh, that's above. Um, now, want that one before that one. Good reason. Uh, that one up there, that down there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, this one there. Oh, no, that one there. Uh, in fact, yeah, I'm going to bring this one down here. And what's that one? Quantum absorption? Quantum absorption. Oh, got a new singularity ability. Yay! Temporary hit points, shield regeneration. Okay, so that's an emergency heal. So that can go there. Um, this is 
Now I tell you what, I'll put that one there so I don't accidentally use it. I forgot to get batteries. The Alachi were hiding the tall Shiar ship. Agreed, Captain Gerard. It's, uh, my officers will send you the data we have on the Alachi. Thank you for the assistance. mineral reading as well. I believe Captain Gerard may differ from your assessment, Hakeev. Colonel Hakeev, you came into sovereign Klingon territory with hostile intent. You brought these aliens into our space. Now you have the unmitigated goal to try to give orders to a Klingon warrior? This is not a Romulan affair anymore, Colonel. You have insulted me, and you will pay the price. Never insult a Klingon, Hakeev. I don't care if you have a hundred Klingon ships. You will not stop me. Oh, such bold overconfidence, Hakeev. We'll see.
time. I don't get tired of seeing him run away with his tail between his legs. You fought well. My people will learn of Colonel Hakim's attack on my vessel. That I can promise you. I will also tell them of your abilities in battle. However, Hakim did not die. So I cannot rule out the possibility that this was all a Romulan trick. My ship will continue to patrol the area. You should return to the conference. Kapla, Captain. Akiv beamed something down to the surface before he warped. I think... Yes, we're getting confirmation. He beamed explosives down to Kittimer. We've got to get down there and disarm them before anyone finds out. Even a hint of a problem like this, and the conference will be shut down. We'll lose our best chance for colonization. Okay, everyone, let's beam down. What is your status? I'm in the Hall of Heroes now, and things are underway. Did you handle the situation with the Alachi? Yes, but Hakeev beamed explosives down into the hallway. This is not good. It will be too easy for any disturbance to be blamed on us, and Hakeev knows it. I'll start searching the Hall of Heroes. Contact me once you've found all of the explosives on your end. I'll do my best to discreetly look for anything amiss over here. Make sure the Klingons do not find the bombs first. If they do, there's a good chance we'll be seeing one another soon in a jail cell. I'll handle this. Yeah, just... Okay, come on. Oh. You're right there. Just up for a jog. Don't mind me. At all. I'm just, you know, taking in the sights. What the? The Tall Shiar had spies here the entire time. Yes, they did. Do, 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 do. Just can't find my communicator. Yeah. Let me just uh, have a quick look around here. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Just playing phaser tag. Get the explosives. Good. That's a relief. I found a bomb near one of the statues in the back of the hall. I should be able to confirm that these devices were made by the Tal Shiar once the conference is over. It will be more proof that they cannot be trusted. Why don't you come inside the conference? The Klingons are about to speak. It should be interesting to hear what they have to say. Run away. In conclusion, think about how many times we've been fooled by Romulans. Sela already sent the Tal Shiar to attack us here. Who is to say Detan is not part of her plan? We must not allow this alliance to happen. Hakeem! Treacherous green blood! Stay back! What do you think you're doing? Why 
What? What are you? Remember this. He gave his life for me, for a Klingon. When my time comes, I hope I can do the same. His sacrifice showed me that we have a common enemy. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a Klinger! I would be proud to give my aid to you and Datan. We will hunt the Tal Shiar like the dogs they are. We appreciate your enthusiasm. Tamir's sacrifice will be remembered. I promise you that. Personally, I have never liked the Tal Shiar. But we of the Diplomatic Corps are always committed to trying to find peaceful solutions first. But we can help you in your fight to bring justice to the Tal Shiar if you accept our assistance. We know you have much to do to build a new homeworld and free your people. The Federation wants to be your ally in everything. I appreciate your words. Tamer's death will not be in vain. Now we have the opportunity to secure our future. The Federation looks favorably upon our endeavors, but it will take time for them to commit. Now Tamer has shown the Klingons that there is honor and nobility among us. We may not have gotten what we wanted today, but I foresee a day where we will build a home and a life on new Romulus. The next step must be yours. Both Starfleet and the Klingon Defense Force have agreed to take Romulans into their forces. I'd like you to be the first. You will be our eyes, ears, and hands in their fleets. More importantly, you will be our voice. Where you serve is your choice. But wherever you go, always remember that you are Romulan. If you haven't done so already, speak with the representatives of the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Then take some time to think it over. When you are ready, speak with Subcommander Nadell back on the flotilla. Tamer gave his life so that we would be understood by the others. I know I won't forget this. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to take down the Tal Shiar, so I'm with you on this, no matter what. The ship is awaiting our return whenever you're ready. We need to report to Subcommander Nadal and let her know everything that's happened. Genuinely one of those turning points in the game where you have to decide which way to go. And it does affect the rest of the game because from this point on you have to choose a side. You have to choose Klingon or Federation.
Welcome back. I'm Subcommander Nadell. Tamara's final actions impressed both the Klingons and the Federation. The time has come for you to decide who you will be allied with. Starfleet and the Klingons both have sent diplomats to stay here at the flotilla. Talk to them if you have any questions. Then speak to me when you are ready to make your choice. Tamer's sacrifice showed the High Council that we have a common enemy. And there is such a thing as an honorable Romulan. We honor his memory. Join us. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a Klingon. The Klingon Defense Force will be proud to give our aid to the Romulan Republic. Together, we will hunt the Tal Shiar like the honorless dogs they are. Thank you. Tamara's sacrifice showed bravery and honor. We honor his act, and we will not forget it. The Prime Directive may tie our hands sometimes, but we recognize when reaching out will help the galaxy. We are ready to recognize the Romulan Republic as a legitimate government, free of the Romulan Star Empire. We can help your people. If you'll accept us as your allies, we'll gladly aid you in your fight against the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We know you have much to do to rebuild a new homeworld on New Romulus. Tell us what you need. We're ready to help you with construction and the relocation of any willing Romulans to their new home. Thank you. And that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. Right there. Right there. As I said, take your time. But also, it's one of these decisions I'm going to have to like think over. And consider the future of the character. But um, please... Um, sorry, please tune in on hopefully Friday um, when we will look at the conclusion of this or oh, can I or oh, can I okay tell you what I've got three viewers right now I have direction I want to go in very much so i want to go in one direction for reasons you'll find out but um we've just got another viewer so hang on i'm gonna go back back in game so here's the thing we have the option of joining the klingon empire or the federation I think I think Wendy HT has said, "Live long and prosper." So is is that is that a vote for the Federation? Is that a vote for Federation or the Klingons? Well, the Klingons are just offering revenge, and you know we'll destroy the Tal Shiar. Federation are actually offering help with the construction of the home world supplies we need and bringing the Tal Shiar to justice so it's not about vengeance it's about making them realize or helping well bringing them to justice which is rather than killing them all you know bringing down the organization and hope and possibly rehabilitating those. So, um, great stream, Chris. Thank you. Klingon will be very instinct. Yep. Okay. So we got one and one. Um, do we have any other votes? Hmm. 
yeah, live long and prosper. So yeah, I'd say that's Federation. It's Federation from Wendy HT. There's two other people out there. Um, you haven't said anything for the stream, which is cool. You know that that's entirely up to you. But otherwise, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it. The, yeah, all right. Hang on, Des. I'm, I'm going to be very clear on this, right? You don't get two votes. <laughs> you don't get two votes. Um, it's still tied. It is still tied. Um, so I'll give it, like, I'll give it another minute. No, Des, you don't get three votes <laughs> because you have three accounts. That's that's that is a, is a pure, um, a pure desecration of the democratic process, right there. All right. Okay. I am going to call it before Des logs in with another YouTube account. Hang on. No, Des, you don't get four. You don't get four <laughs> votes by logging into Sinead's account as well. No, not happening. Give me a second. That's what just get that's not me, that's actually Sinead. Hey Sinead, how you doing? Sorry. Um I, I thought Des was up to his usual shenanigans. As he's already tried to vote in this like three times using diff different accounts. So thank you. <coughs> thank you for tuning in. All right, so that's actually two votes. Two votes for Klingon, one vote for Federation. Oh, wifey, wifey with a last minute, last minute. It's now tied, tied with two Federation, two for Klingon. Um, so, okay, right. As it's a tie, as it's a tie, I'm going to get the final the final say and <laughs> no this stop it Des stop it right now I'm going for Federation I, I'm gonna break the tie and I'm going for Federation um, traditionally Traditionally, Romulans and Klingons have, you know, there's been some intrigue and stuff going on there. And playing a Romulan, who would effectively be the first openly Romulan captain in the Federation, would be interesting. And I'd, I'd like to take the characters down that route. I'd like to take them into that, that whole thing where it's a challenge because Klingons and Romulans both ruled by their you know emotional states and you know and all the rest of it the hard thing to be in this game would be a Romulan who's part of the Federation who doesn't have to kind of keep everything in but has to 
measure the decisions with the emotional side. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, nothing in life that is worthwhile is easy. So being a Romulan in the Federation, I think is the way to go. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna make this decision. We're gonna talk to Sub Commander Nadell. Here we go. Time is short. What do you need of me? This final choice must be yours, but I know you will honor Tamer and serve our people well, no matter where you decide to go. So what is it to be then? The Klingons or the Federation? Time is short. What do you need of me? There we go. We're gonna choose Starfleet. Tamer was a great man. He touched so many lives among the survivors, and I know he thought very highly of you. I can think of no better way to honor his commitment and sacrifice than by continuing to serve the Romulan people. On to business. The flotilla will be working on beginning settlement of Dewa Three, or what we're calling New Romulus. Good luck out there. Time. Congratulations, Centurion. Okay, we need to go and talk to Centurion Villar at New Romulus Command, um, which I will do in a moment. Oh, we've just got another tactical officer, Linnet. Ah, oh, nice, Linnet. Vulcan, fantastic. He can replace my current one. Um, there's a new event page for tracking opportunities and earning special rewards, but Mission Journal to view it. Click the events tab to review activities and their rewards. Visit the page frequently to learn about new events to become available. Learn, earn a count my rewards for participating. So, I'm not going to hide this. Um, I'm Khan! Khan! Um. <coughs> Just gained a level. Um, we'll sort that out at the start of the next stream, hopefully on Friday. And I will explain some more things about the decision um, on Friday when I get the when I get the computer back from its its um, its kind of NCT service kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's, there are reasons, there are reasons for going the direction I did. Um, time for Earl Grey, T, Earl Grey, mm. yep, definitely. Um, so thank you all very much uh, for tuning in. Thank you to Dez, Sinead, Wendy HT, um wifey as well for for jumping in on on the vote there um thank you very much really appreciate you you tuning in and uh we'll see you hopefully keep fingers crossed um that everything goes smoothly but we'll see you on friday thank you for watching god of mahogas good night